Head of the International Monetary Fund. Well, I've got Shirley Yu with me uh, for this uh, business briefing, Senior Visiting Fellow at the Institute of Global Affairs at the London School of Economics. Good, nice to see you again, Shirley. So what are your expectations for these talks? Well, I think the good news is that uh, the world's uh, two largest economies are continuously talking with each other because can you imagine the consequences if they weren't? So uh, I think uh, this sort of uh, dialogue mechanisms keeps the world one step away from a, uh, a, a terrible comprehensive decoupling between the U.S. and China. And so um, in terms of specific outcome, I don't think uh, uh, there has been a lot of expectations uh, for a uh, comprehensive deal to come out of uh, this particular round of trade talks or perhaps uh, many rounds of trade talks after this because uh, China has Table actually a, a partial trade deal solution to basically address the U.S.-China trade imbalance. But President Trump wants a comprehensive trade deal. He wants to address those structural economic issues within China and the implementation mechanism. So I don't think really the two countries are exactly on the same page. Well, they certainly don't seem to be with lots of tit-for-tat uh, escalation going on Absolutely. ahead of these talks in, this, in just this week alone. What if we were to see this to move from trade of goods to investment. What are we talking about then if, if we were to go into that level of a trade dispute? Oh yeah, absolutely. I think uh, that's the real danger. I think, uh, you know, um, two weeks ago, if we were to, you know, uh, zoom into uh, President Trump's uh, press uh, conference at the UNGA in New York, he basically said, well, um, had my opponent won, we would have been second right now. So I think the message is very clear. Basically, the trade war is not going to stop until the U.S. feels absolutely confident that uh, China is no longer a viable threat to U.S.'s uh, global economic primacy. And so last week, uh, Peter Navarro came out and said, well, uh, talking about the listing of Chinese stocks from the U.S. exchanges is fake news. But actually, that conversation has happened in the White House, as shown in the White House memo. And so um, we're talking uh, well, about 180... Well, well, go on, sorry. 180 Chinese companies, Sally, that are listed across the major boards in the U.S., and uh, perhaps 120... Uh, or so Chinese companies that are listed in the over-the-counter exchanges are talking about the market cap well over 1.2 trillion U.S. dollars. And uh, have we, um, b you know, not been able to effectively prevent the trade war to escalate into that investment area, then uh, the potential impact is seismic. It's far greater than just simply talking about uh, moving trading routes around. Okay, that's really fascinating. Thank you for coming in, Shirley. And I know I'll talk to you again because <laughs> I don't think this will be resolved this week, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> we will keep a very close eye on those talks.